Hey guys, so it is that time of the year again. One of the most stressful times of the year for guys. Valentine's Day. Well, I guess it's stressful for girls too. So actually girls, you can use these same ideas, but I'm just gonna be giving them from a guy's perspective since I'm a guy. You see, Valentine's Day is different for everyone, but for the majority, it comes with an expectation that a lot of people fail to meet. And well, this video is for all you people out there who struggle to meet that expectation every year. And I know, I know, there's a lot of you out there that aren't in a relationship, and that's because you haven't seen this video yet. Because if you do, I promise you that these ideas work over 100% of the time every Every single time that it works so if you finally want to be romantic and you don't want to just meet that expectation but exceed it you've come to the right video <laughs> The typical three-part Valentine's Day gift. It's probably the most common and safest gift that you can get a girl on Valentine's Day. You know what I'm talking about. Flowers, chocolates, stuffed animals. It's a go-to. It's the safest thing you can do. Now, you might meet an expectation with this, but like I said in the beginning, your goal should be to exceed that expectation. So all you have to do is give her that three-part Valentine's Day gift, but in a slightly different way. All right, keep them closed. Don't look. Okay. All right, ready? Set. Open them. Happy Valentine's Day! What is this? Flowers, your favorite. These are all the brands you use, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I also got you. Oh my god, dark chocolate's my face! Yeah, here you Thank go. Thank you! Wait, is this chalk? Yeah, it's like little pieces of chalk. Chocolates. Oh, I get it. It's a joke. I mean, if you have the bag, did you at least keep the real chocolates? No. But you don't even like chocolate. Yeah, I didn't eat them. I just fed it to your dog. What? Ryan, you can't give chocolates to a dog, it'll die. You don't have to worry about that, he's already dead. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Not just stuffed animal. Oh my god, Toby! Girls love candy. Girls love hearts. And most importantly, girls love getting little messages that are so cute that it makes them giggle in the insides. All you have to do is give her your own version of those little cute candy heart messages. Hug me. I'm going to Rufy's. Oh, JK. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> However, laxatives? LOL. <laughs> some girls don't want the typical gift, like we mentioned earlier. They want to know that you put some thought into it and put your heart into it. And also because they want to post about it on social media to show how amazing and awesome their boyfriend is. You know, so they can get a lot of likes. So all you got to do is give her exactly what she wants. Don't peek, don't peek. Stay right there. And open it. What the hell's going on? This is my new girlfriend. What? Yeah, I'm leaving you for her. How is this a Valentine's Day gift? This is the best gift you could ever give to a girl. How? I just gave you a free Facebook post where you and your other mean girlfriends can talk about how ugly your ex's new girlfriend is. You're gonna get so many likes. You can't even buy that. <laughs> It's unfair, but it's true. There's nothing more romantic than a guy singing to his girl. But in order to make it more special, you have to make it personal. All you have to do is pick a song that reflects your relationship. You can even change some of the lyrics to make it make more sense. Even if you're not a singer like me, just sing from your heart and she'll love it. So, you know, I don't really sing and I don't play the guitar or anything, but for this Valentine's Day, I actually learned a few songs for you. So. Oh my God, that's so sweet. And well, these are a few songs that remind me of us. Don't judge me. I'm not, you know, I'm not a singer. You know that. So, <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> bitch, I don't f with you. You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't f with you. And I'm like, forget you. <laughs> My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. I got 99 problems with a b Ain't one. Hit me. So he calls me up and he's like, I still love you. And I'm like, oh my god, this is exhausting. Like, we are never getting back together. Like, ever. No! Okay, but you know what? Just stop. That, that's good. What's wrong? Nothing. I mean, I just thought you were actually going to sing something a little bit more romantic and personal. Oh, I mean, you didn't let me finish. My last song is actually very romantic and personal. It's actually one of your favorite songs. And I even changed up some of the lyrics to make it more honest and personal. Oh, okay. Um. And honey, I will be loving you till we're 70. And after that, I'm over you, my 
mark it down at 71, girl. We are through. What? I'll have someone new by 72. I can't wait. Memories are everything, and what better way to assure that you'll never forget them? A photo album. Show her you really care about the memories. I know how important memories are to you. So for Valentine's, it's a photo album. Oh my gosh, you made this? Thanks. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. What? Why? Ew, these are all just pictures of poo. Yeah, but these are memories. See, like this one's from our first date. That was right when I got home. This one's at, I think this one was actually at the movie theater bathroom. Oh. And this one, oh, this is from Thanksgiving dinner. Look, look at all the corn. Oh That's how you can tell. You know tell. what? That's enough. Wait, what? I'm tired of this. Seriously, all these poop jokes? Ryan, it's getting old. You need to grow up. Yeah, you're right. It, I guess it is getting kind of old. Yeah. Good thing I invented this new thing called the fart cam. What? Yeah. Oh. Check this out. Oh. oh my god. Fart cam. Not much to explain here. It's a pretty common phrase. Just do exactly as it sounds. Wine and dine. You know, this isn't really what I had in mind when you said wine and dine. Was oh, that whining I hear? No, 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 no. Oh, oh good, uh, because you know the rules. You whine, you dine. Yeah, I, I'm not whining. You know, Ryan, have you seen my purse anywhere? I can't find it. Actually, that is your Valentine's Day gift. You got me a purse? No, no I took your purse, but I made it a little more personal. Oh my god, Brian, that's my favorite purse. It's over a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's why I engraved it, so that no one can steal this it. This is leather. You ruined it. Fine, if you don't appreciate it, I'm gonna take it back. And also, I'm not gonna give back your shoes either. Wait, you engraved my shoes? Yeah, the Las Vegas ones. Huh? The ones with the LV on it. You engraved my Louis Vuitton? You engraved my Louis Vuitton? You are my miracle. This is awful. So bad. <laughs> Not all, but a lot of girls really like sensitivity in guys. And if you can write poems, what is more sensitive than that? <clears throat> Roses are red and violets are blue. Trees are brown and green, the primary colors of poo. Which is why they go together, both the tree and the poo. They complement one another, unlike rose red and violet blue. I've always thought and wondered which one of us was which. But then I realized I must be the tree for you. You are the sh I was but a little seed when I met you. I was so immature. But you never did leave. You rooted down and helped me to grow like a fertilizing manure. <laughs> so yes, most couples appear like roses and violets, red and blue poetry. But we are not gang members. We are not some Halo series. We are not the original Pokemon game colors. We are brown and green. We are tree and poo. We are poetry. <laughs> So, what'd you think? Okay, I gotta admit, I thought it was gonna be gross in another one of your poop jokes, but it was actually pretty... Ah! Poor Cam. And last but not least, if all else fails and you don't know what to get her, you can't make her anything, the very least you can do is dedicate a video to her, coming up with all these different ideas. Even if you can't personally do all of them, if you dedicate the video to her, it'll show her how much effort you put in and how much you really care. And that's about it. All of this was just for you, my mystery girlfriend in real life that I guess I'm finally going to reveal and I guess go public about. Even though it's probably pretty obvious to people who watch who you are because I mean you've been in so many videos and I mean you were literally in this video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to dedicate this video to you because, well, I love you. <laughs> Fart cam. Fart cam. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you want to see bloopers behind the scenes, click the one on the left. If you want to see the previous video, click the one on the right. And thank you so much to Arden for being in this video. And of course, Greg Gina. Greg Gina. Greg Gina. It's a new character. Let us know what you guys want Greg's new character to be in the comment section. Goodbye.